Alright, bago po natin simula ng ating uh, game number 6 in about uh, in half an hour, no? makikita natin ang ating inner game. Ito ang ating pre-game show bago magsimula ang ating championship. Well, siguro kung tama ang relo namin, 6.30, pero as early as uh, morning po kanina, mga 11, wala nang ticket na mabili kasi pre-sold ang mga ticket. So, we're expecting a uh, mammoth crowd dito po sa loob na Puneta Astro. Isang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Chino Trinidad at pinag-uusapan po dito sa sharing ko, at least for the last two games, eh si Nelson Asaitono. Monstrous game from Nelson Asaitono. Never, no, sa history ng PBA. Have we seen an explosion from a local like this? 40 back-to-back -back points in a championship series. Paano kaya ginagawa ni Nelson to? Or mas maganda, sariwain natin ang husay ni Nelson Asaitono pagdating sa scoring. San Miguel is on the brink of its first PBA championship in three years. At ang nagdala sa kanila dito ay si Nelson Asaitono. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Rosella is open. Ayaw. Nelson Asaitono. Ba, saan ang galing yun si Nelson Asaitono? Oo, oh, bigla na lang mo sa mulput. Si Kenneth na bumabantay na naman kay Nelson dahil lima na si uh, Bong. Whoa! Hey! Hey! What a That's shot! Discarded. What a shot! Overtime. Game 5 of the championship for the All-Filipino Cup. Asaitono! Oh, what a shot! Well, look at him go. Nelson Asaitono. Don't say we didn't warn you. Nelson Asaitono! Oh, that will count! With a foul! I don't believe this guy! 11 seconds on the shot clock. Nelson. Oh, the foul away by Nelson Asaitono! He is wild tonight! Nagawa na ni The Bull ang lahat para sa kupunan niya. Kasama dito ang finals record of 81 points in two games. Ang pagkapanalo ng MVP for the All-Filipino Cup. Our best player for the 1998 PBA Macron's All-Filipino Cup of the Sanctuary Season is... Nelson! At ang pinakabagong manlalaro na nakai-score ng 10,000 points sa kanyang PBA career. He's the 11th player to reach the 10,000 point plateau. At sasamahan po niya dyan ang uh, listahan po ng mga elite cast ng mga 10,000 pointer. Kung may papanalo ng pyramid ng clinching game 6, sigurado nga asa na naman ng malaki kay Nelson. Ito na ang conference ni Asaitono. Tatapusin ba niya ito with a championship trophy? At kaya ba niyang tumuloy-tuloy bilang MVP for the year 1998? He really wants to win a championship. And he wants to win a championship, and that means he has a chance to be the MVP that he didn't get in 92 and Adto on that. But they should have been co-MVPs. I mean, Nelson had a great year, and Adto won the championship and had a great year. But Nelson wants it this year. Well, that remains to be seen. Ano? Nelson and Saitono winning it all dito po sa ating uh, 1998 season. Pero so far, Nelson and Saitono pinag-uusapan ng napakaraming tao. Paano kaya ginawa ni Nelson and Saitono yun? Kami po dito hindi makapaniwala for a guy to score 40 points back to back. Hanggang ngayon, sinasariwa pa rin natin ang explosion ni The Bull, Nelson and Saitono. We'll take a break. Sa aming pagbabalik, sisilipin namin si Johnny Abariantos. Saan nagpunta si Johnny Abariantos nung game number 5? Yan po sa pagbabalik ng inyong inner game. Okay, muli po kayo nagbabalik sa inyong inner game, si Chino Trinidad, and uh, in about 20 minutes, no, magsisimula po ang ating game number 6. An all-important game para sa Alaska. Ano nangyari sa Alaska ng game number 5? Sinabi ng marami, mahirap matalo ang Alaska ng back-to-back. -back. But when you have Johnny Abariantos faltering the whole game, aba, mahirap manalo ang Alaska. Alaska lives and dies with Johnny Abariantos. Si Johnny Abariantos, may sakit ba sa nung game number 5? Tignan po natin dito sa ating nakumpile na report. Kung ang San Miguel ay nakasandal kay Nelson Asaitono, ang Alaska naman ay umaasa kay Johnny Abariantos. Sa dalawang panalo ng Alaska dito sa finals, maganda ang laro ni Johnny A. But in their three losses, the flying ace performance has been so-so. In Game 5, naglaro si Johnny ng 40 minutes. But he was only able to score three points on very poor shooting as he was outplayed by Olsen Rasela. 
May injury ba si Amarientos? Ano ba yung injury na sinasabi nila? Uh, ano, dati ko na to eh. Kaya lang, masama lang talaga yung nilaro ko. Siguro, kaya... Siguro, uh, medyo ano, masyadong gigil. Tsaka masama yung loob ko pagpasok nung game. Game 6, no? Dahil yung pagkatalo namin uh, last game. Kasi parang feeling ko, ami na yun eh. Tapos bigla na wala. So, siguro, dinala ko pa yun nung game, nung last game. Kaya siguro makita yung pinakita ko. Yung sinasabi po ni Johnny Abariento sa masama yung kanyang loob, actually, yung sinasabi ho niya, pagpasok ng Game 5, masama ang loob niya dahil natalo sila sa Game 4. In a game na akala niya, eh, panalo na sila. Sapagat ito lamang po ang ating Game number 6. More on Johnny Abariento mamaya sa ating panel. Mahang kasama niyo si Noli Iala at saka si Andy Howe. Makikita niyo kung gano'n talaga kasama ang nilaro ni Johnny. Pero sabi nga natin, si Johnny bihirang nagkakamali ng dalawang beses. Okay, magbe-break muli ang inyong inner game sa aming pagbabalik. Naglipot kami ng sandali dito sa Metro Manila. Sino ba gusto nilang manalo? O sa tingin ba nila makukuha ng San Miguel sa game number 6 ang Corona? O aabot tayo ng 7 games? At uh, dito ay ating pag-uusapan naman kung sino ang nakakalamang in terms of fans. Kaya po, sinubukan namin maglibot-libot ng konti sa Mibada, Quezon City. At tinipon namin yung aming mga natanong. Sino-sino ba yung gusto nilang manalo? O sinong team ang gustong manalo? O kanino sila mapupunta? Kanino sila pumapanig? Sa Quezon City po kami naglibot ng konti at ito ang nakuha naming pulso ng masa. Tingin ko talaga ang sila na makakakuha ng championship dahil sa bagong rookie nila ni si Daniel Diponso. Malakas ngayon ng San Miguel eh. Dahil napasama sa kanila yung si El Diponso. Oo, oh, siyempre. Kasi ano lang yan eh, di ba, natalo sila. Parang wala, nag-build up lang ng suspense. Malaking malaki. Parang talagang kumplinsyado na ako na, na sila ang mananak. Uh, push to the limit na sila, nakakabalik pa rin sila to win championships. Nakaabot siya ng Game 7. Bilyamin, siya po ay eh, kababayan ko si Bilyamin, ay eh, paborito ko siyang uh, leer. Ever since pa nung bata ako, San Miguel ay eh, talagang team ko. Dahil andun yung idol ko si Lesson Asaitono, idol ko si Asaitono at saka si Taidik. Because I said so! Eh siyempre kaya Barriento, si Johnny. Maganda yung ano, coaching ni team ko, tsaka ano si Anel, si Johnny. Sila yung... Pinakamaraming experience sa championship. Ah, uh, Alaska. San Miguel. Alaska. Alaska. San Miguel. 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 San Miguel. Alaska. San Miguel. Alaska. San Miguel. Okay, sa la labas po ay eh, hati-hati sila kung sino ang sila, San Miguel o Alaska. Sa labas po ay eh, merong marami-rami ng taong naiipon dahil eh, sa ilang sandali lang eh, magsisimula nating laban. Ito ang mga fans ng San Miguel at uh, sila maaga pa. Ito naman yung crowd natin sa bleachers. Kung nakikita nyo, hindi pa nagkakagula dahil hindi pa pumapasok ang mga players para sa kanilang warm-up. But anytime now, eh, magpapasok ka na yan at hinihintay nila ang pagdating ng Flying A. Kung magpapakita ang tunay na Flying A, sa game number 6. Well, yan po ang ating inner game para sa game number 6. Kami po ay magbe-break. Tatapusin natin na ang ating inner game sa ating pagbabalik. Makakasama nyo si Noli Iyala at saka si Andy Howe. They'll talk more about yung details ng game number 6 at saka kung ano nangyari sa game number 5. Kami po ay magpapaalam na at ang iiwan namin sa inyo ay ang mga images ng ating series. Games 1 to 5 sa ating Maikling MP.
Victor the Spoils at isa sa mga premyo na makukuha ng magiging kampiyon dito sa title series. Hindi lamang po isang corona, kung hindi dalawa. Of course, yung, Mac yung McDonald's PBA All-Filipino Cup and the FBR Centennial Cup in commemoration of our centennial year. And of course, ang San Miguel Beer in this title series is only one game away from getting those two trophies. The last time nakita ng San Miguel yung mga lobong yan in the rafters was back in 1995. It never f fell for them as Alaska came back in that series to win it in seven games. Ngayon, ang tanong, will the long end or will the long wait end finally for San Miguel or will history repeat itself? At isa pong magandang magandang gabi sa inyo lahat mga kaibigan. Welcome sa Bayan ng Superstars, sa McDonald's PBA All-Filipino Cup. Welcome to game number six of this best of seven series. Labanan ng Alaska kontra San Miguel Beer. Right now, 3 to 2 ang ating serye. Isa na lamang pong laro ang kalangan ng San Miguel Beer. And like we said at the beginning of the series, it's going to be a war that like you've never seen before. And it certainly has been. Alaska came back 2 to 1 in the series. Pero just when you thought San Miguel was out of it, they come back winning game in 4 and 5. And now they're on top 3 to 2. Of course, ako po si Noli Iyala. And working with me here in game number 6, ang inyong kaibigan si Dr. J. Magandang gabi sa'yo, Dr. J. Magandang gabi rin, Noli, sa lahat ng nanonood itong ating 6 game, possible championship game for San Miguel Beer. And of course, on the part of Alaska, para makatabla and to forge a possible 7 game. Pambihira itong sharing ito, Dr. J. Nakabalik ang uh, San Miguel Beer. And certainly, in this kind of a series, it brings back memories of 1995. Well, yes, because they also played Alaska, but that was with an import. And San Miguel led that series 3-2, to two, gave it away in the six when they were up in the first half, lost that ball game, eventually went on to lose that championship series. So it's an opportunity para sa San Miguel na makabawi naman sila sa nangyari sa kanila nung Alaska. Huling beses na champion ng San Miguel, 1994, all Filipino. And that's why they were the team that went to the Hiroshima, uh, yung sa ating uh, Asian, Asian Games. Asian Games, so, matagal nang hindi nakakatikin ay gutom na gutom na itong San Miguel kumpara sa isang team na Alaska na marami ng kampiyonato itong nakaraan taon. Itong sering ito has proven that you cannot underestimate the heart of a champion. Well, dito po rin sa sering ito, it has also proven that ang dalawang kuponan tila sumasalalay sa kanilang kapalaran sa paglalaro ng dalawang nilang alas. Two aces. Ace number one, of course, the raging bull, Nelson Asaitono, who came up with back-to-back 40-point -back performances. And this is what he has done when they have won and when they have lost, Dr. J. Well, the three games that they have won, he has averaged over 34 points a ball game. You know the two 40-ball games that he had and shooting 50% from the field. The two, the two games that they have lost, he averaged only about 15 points and below 40% shooting. And you know, even though ang, ang San Miguel, they do not have as many shooters kung ikukumpara mo, ihahambing mo sa Alaska. Dahil ang Alaska, may limang player doon nag-average ng double figure. Nelson himself is playing like three men, scoring-wise. Na tumutulong siya, pero at the same time, he's been scoring very big for this team. Samantala, para naman sa panic ng Alaska Milk, of course, ang kanilang kapalaran always nakasalari dito sa 1996 MVP, the flying Johnny Abarientos. But will he fly today? Yan din ang kanyang nagawa in the games that they have won and in the games that they have lost. Well, he has picked up his game and he's averaging about 18 points in the semifinals. Pero bumagsak yan the last game, nung game number 5, tatlong puntos lang ginawa ni Johnny. And he's only averaging 3 points in the 3 games that they have lost. In the games that have, he has won, he's averaging 20 points and over 60% shooting from the field, including 7 assists. So, malaking bagay talaga kung ano yung laro ni Johnny, doon rin sumasama ang, ang kuponan ng Alaska. Alam mo, pinag-uusapan niyo ang kanilang performance ni Johnny A noong game number 5. Well, yung kanyang uh, shot chart certainly shows na napaka malas o napakasama ng kanyang ginawa. 1 out of 12 in that ball game. At yan ang nangyari doon sa game number 5, Andy. Well, you see, uh, you know, everybody has his day. And at the same time, everybody also has his off night, as they say. And it was one of those games that Johnny went out and tried to shoot, but just couldn't make the shots. Yun ang nangyari sa kanya. Everybody is expecting him to have an explosive game today. Parang in reparation para na nangyari no nakaraang game, game 5. So, nasa sa San Miguel na yung kung kaya nilang depensahan, ang ano ilalaro ni Johnny ngayon gabi. And you better believe it, Johnny A will come back in this ball game. Isa pang sa, sa mga napakahalagang factors dito, Andy, has been the three-point markmanship. Both teams relying a little bit on the three-point range and San Miguel has taken 88 attempts dito sa seryeng ito. Well, it's very obvious that in game number five, kung hindi nagpumuputok si uh, Nelson Asaitono sa three-point territory, siguro mahihirapan sila makatabla to send that game into overtime. And uh, obviously, doon sa game sa Cebu, napanood naman namin si Roel Gomez pumuputok sa three-point territory at saka si Jojo Lastimosa. 
both teams do take a lot of three pointers and they do have guys that can shoot the three pointers. Depende lang who will be able to connect more, who has the higher percentage. All right, mga kaibigan, this is game number six. Kami po ay magbe-break muna sa aming pagbalik. Tuloy-tuloy ang aming huntahan tungkol dito sa title series Alaska Laban San Miguel. Alam niyo po nung game number one, kasama namin si Dota Jaworski sa panel, three-man panel. Well, today, we're lucky to have with us one of the superstars ng Bayan ng Superstars, si Vin Season. And welcome back. I know you've been on our way, and uh, it's nice that you're back with us here. Thank you all for uh, tuning in too and uh, enjoying the PBA. This is a big game. This has been a terrific series, Vince. Your thoughts about this series? Certainly, it's been a war of attrition. Yeah, uh, I've been catching it a little bit, and I've noticed that both of the teams are really hungry for this for this championship. Uh, uh, I hope uh, both teams uh, come out tonight because this is going to be a big game. Well, I just like to thank everybody from Gordons because uh, every time na invitay natin sila, sumisipot naman sila katulad ni Vince. Si Dodot, he did very well and I hope we have a very good game today. You know, just one last question, Vince. Obviously, you've seen how Nelson has played. Yeah. Is there a way to stop the ball here? Briefly. Uh, you're going to have to double or triple team. Uh, Nelson's really strong and he can uh, he can do so many things, you know, both from inside and out. So you're going to have to double or triple team. All right, the stage is set for game number six. We'll be back with the action right after these. Muli po isang magandang magandang gabi Pilipinas Dito sa game number 6 sa bayan ng Superstars Best of 7 series para sa McDonald's PBA All Filipino Cup At talo na po ang lineup ng San Miguel Beer And right now, ang pagkano naman ng Alaska Milk At tatawagin sa kasalukuyan I'd like to remind everybody na kasama namin dito si Prince Ison uh, who's joining us in the panel with his partner Dodo who joined us in the very first game. Medyo maganda ang aming uh, teamsmanship kasama si Dodo sa si panahon na yun. That's right. Kasama uh, si Prince na kasama ko rin ito so okay rin ito. <laughs> I think Dodo's better than I am. <laughs> well, only better in the uh, Filipino maybe, Vince. Right now, you're looking at the starters. Just the regular starting lineup for San Miguel. Of course, he... Nelson Asaitona and Daniel DiPonso ang poste ng dalawang uh, ng kopanan ni Ron Jacobs who's looking for his second crown here in the PBA. Samantala, the triangle, Lastimosa, Barrientos, and Hawkins with Poch, Vino, and Duremtes up front. This is the war. This is game number six. And the opening toss, San Miguel may hawak ng unang possession. Well, so far, Ed DiPonso has been able to beat the jumpers there and Nelson Asaitona missing from the three-point territory early in the ball game. We talked about how important the three-point shot has been in this uh, title series. And maybe we have one of the best here beside us, Ben Season. But certainly, it's, <laughs> this is really an unusual thing that the three-point shot has certainly become an invaluable uh, weapon in the series, Ben. Yeah, um, well, you know, the teams that uh, can open up the inside uh, usually have the advantage. No? Uh, Gordon, we have Marlo inside, so usually in, in no league, so when Nike gets going hot outside, it opens up a lot of things for them inside. But it seems sometimes these teams don't really need it so much because they're so motion-oriented. You have San Miguel really uh, concentrating on the motion offense, where uh, Alaska is more, you know, on the, on the triangle. So, Samatala, napakaganda nito sa pala to, Dr. J. Right on the money, si Pochwinio. Almost another bad yes. It turned out to be a bad inbound, so Alaska up early here in this uh, ball game. We cannot help but uh, come up with some parallelisms with game or 1995. It's the two the Governor's Cup. Alaska also trailed three to two after San Miguel won game number five of the series in double overtime, just like in this one. And right now, Las Timosa getting a three-point shot at Lamangbong, Alaska, five to nothing. It's a good start here for Alaska. Their shooters, notably their guards, have been uh, getting their baskets in. That should be a good sign for them. 
Nelson Aceitono. And the Rapids continues, Andy. Well, you know, when you're good, you're good. Eh? And when you become good in a series. You remember last year, Vince, in that second conference, who was the hottest player in your team besides you? <laughs> no, definitely. Uh, we, oh, we, we were a very, uh, very team. Uh, we had a lot of people contributing in a lot of different ways. We had, you know, Val, of course, you know, driving in so many times. You know, I was getting some of the outside shots. Of course, Chris King, you can't say enough about Chris King. He really pulled us through, and then uh, Noli and Marlu, and you know, we had some triplers off the bench, you know, like Dodaj was actually playing a lot of defense, and uh, some of the other guys, so we really had a lot of fun, you know, uh, it was like, you know, Sama Sama, the whole team was playing together, and uh, they really couldn't guard one person, and that's, that was our advantage. You are playing, you have watched this series, who do you think is the team that's having fun right now? Because that's very important, you know, that um, you take the pressure away. Well, personally, I, I see San Miguel is having a lot of fun, this is for one. You know, it's, it's not same old, same old. You know, Alaska's almost used to being in the finals every you know, conference. But uh, San Miguel, on the other hand, you know, is, this is their chance. They're up, and uh, it looks like they have the, the giggle, you know, the, the heart and desire that they, they need to win. So we'll see what happens. Well, right now, um, San Miguel put the two points in the nine and a half remaining in the first quarter. Another three points shot. This one is short. Not enough for the Zaytona. That's a mistake in two triple Bs in this ball game. One will come in. Nice drop pass. And it will come with another foul. That's the boss getting his fifth point of the ball game. And the Alaska fans will pick it up early here. But you know, I'm going to foul in Nelson to say, Tono with his first personal foul. That was an excellent look by uh, Kenneth Durantis as well. Uh, he had two guys who were on him. The Olaf is sitting there wide open. So, give it easy to him. A lot of people are saying that Alaska must run a little bit more against the San Miguel team instead of allowing San Miguel to play the half-court game, which they are so accustomed to. Right now, Yampong I think scores 72, five-point lead. And as, uh, Alaska milk. Hot ball picked up by Daniel DeFonso. Eight seconds on the last shot clock. Now it's a spot to Rino. Earl, got a ball to cross the second clock. On the three seconds remaining in the back pass. That's the most of picking Pedro Alas. That's the most of. Goes inside. Bola, rebound in my first leg. The situation is the most that decides to wait. Finally gets it to Rico Alfonso. Good clock again. That's the third clock by Fox Rino in the ballgame. Well, so far, it's been all Alaska here in the first minutes of this first quarter. The other side, after that basket by Nelson, there is been another scorer here for the uh, San Miguel team. And again, they look for the ball. the ball. not completely healed uh, from his uh, wrist injury. Anyway, I wanted to ask you, uh, Vince, is Chris King here already? Yeah, Chris King arrived uh, this last Sunday. And, uh, I, I've been practicing the past few days, so uh, he's, uh, he's in shape. He looks pretty good, and uh, I hope it's a big turnaround for Gordon's in the second conference. How Hopefully. about you? You know, after that 37-point explosion against Pure uh -huh. your team started going down because you had to leave them. So how are you? Uh, well, I was sort of injured with my ankle before, but it is improving. It is uh, to the point where I can actually run again. Uh, for some time, I, even the 37 point where I, I did you know, a lot of three point shots, I wasn't 100%. In fact, I was more close to 40 or 50% uh, leaning on one leg. And I actually injured both legs after trying to play so much. So 
Hope I'll have both legs intact and uh, we'll both be playing pretty good. In the second half. In the meantime, both for Freddy Abuda getting the rebound. Alaska beginning to miss and San Miguel making sure there are no second opportunities for them to fire the defensive boards. 648 remaining in the first. New Defonso. Isolation play. He goes inside. Gets a pass. Ball and they found it. Power of Yaman can get it. Correct as it seems. The target has turned over the Monte Boro for some report. One. Like Kamikaze Pilots going to war. Talagang nakapanindig pala hito ang sitwasyon kanina sa Dago at Alaska. Tony, walang special instructions, no special plays were out there. Just a very emotional pep talk given by Coach Team ko sa mga bata niya. Reminding them that they're all champions. Pagkatapos ang mahabang tasa naman, nakaluhod lahat. At nagkarasal ka, sana huwag mahulog ang mga lobo ngayon kami dito. Back to you, Noli. Maraming salamat, Mon. Well, something's going for Alaska, of course. It's been a long time since they lost three consecutive games. Well, last time was against Vince Heeson's team in Gordon's Gin in the finals of last year's Commissioner's Cup. And they didn't win, even though they came back uh, with two straight games. That's right. And it's very obvious that the team that's behind will certainly come out a little bit harder right. in the first minutes. It's for San Miguel to keep their composure and stay within Alaska's game. Right now, they're staying close at least. But this man has been waxing hot and he continues wow. to do so. And obviously, Vince... Well, he's done that <laughs> definitely in this first quarter. You know, uh, but how many points now? We're counting nine points. Atali is at nine points and, and, uh, and going up as we speak sometimes. So hopefully uh, and, uh, he's converting. In the meantime, there was bumping and shoving underneath. No foul on that missed shot by Il Defonso. Tamira Salamasi, Bong Hawkins before that. There was a foul given up by Austin Casella. One of the personal foul in Casella. It will be the second team foul for San Miguel. Three team fouls already called against Alaska. 6-0-1 left here in the first quarter. Side court throw in here for the uh, Alaska team. Side court throw in. It's changed. The foul is on Musle because uh, Rosello was not in that play. No? Yes. <laughs> Well, San Miguel, mga kaibigan, leads the series 3-2. They, if they win today, they will go on to win their 12th title in their storied franchise history. Dito sa PBA, only one shy of the all-time number of Chris Parr Redmanizers. There's a tap-out. We'll take our first break in watching the PBA on PTV. Welcome back. Sabonetta has to go. Just in time to see that shot. The Johnny Abarietos triple B. Number one for Abarietos from Alamanianza, Alaska. And they go up by 8, 14 to 6 with 5.35 remaining because of first quarter. Well, Johnny Sartre is trying to make up for his uh, luster game in game number 5. He already tied his up in the last game? Yeah, much more. He had three points in that game. Yeah. Tonight he already has 5 on Il Defonso. Il Defonso on a 1-on-1 -on -one move there. Getting his uh, fourth point of the ball game. Si Bong Hawkins, nasa gitna. He struggled in game five and he gets his first basket. He does a game number six. Sir Hawkins has also heard all the uh, talk about that. Bill Defonso doing a good defensive job against him, so he would like to do something against that, especially on the inside game. Uh, and he did that in that last play. Walong putos lamang si Bong Hawkins. Nelson Azaitono. Tumira ng tres. Hirap yan. Falling away. And the rebound by Aparientos. Kalahati ng score ng Alaska. San Miguel Lamang. Malalagpagan pass. Kenneth Durantos gets a good pass from Lastimosa. Well, nice cut after the give. And a reverse layup. So more focus definitely at the Alaska Milkman here in the minutes. And Nelson Azaitono has not been that scoring factor yet. You know, Vince, what's Ooh. Your, Ooh. Oh, that's a hard foul given up by Lastimosa as uh, Aceitano was trying to provide a pick here. And, and now we have Jojo looking at him, probably telling him, did I hit you that hard? <laughs> <laughs> I can't bear you now. Nagkasama yan, of course, back in 1988, uh, Pure Fools, boom. But he Ouch. gave him the elbow. That's right into the Adam's apple. That's painful. I've been yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is Especially painful. Especially with Joe Lass. <laughs> You've visited this elbow before. <laughs> Last uh, second conference, uh, my <laughs> Of course, you've had 
You've had a uh, colorful matchup with Jojo Las yeah. as well, Vince. Yeah, but Jojo's a good guy, you know. We've become friends and uh, actually we share common friends. And, uh, it's just on the court, off the court. Okay. That's the way it should be. I'm sorry? That's the way it should be. Definitely. You leave everything within those four lines. Of That's right. Shot clock, clock down to six seconds. Alaska's doing a great job of passing out. They're not letting uh, uh, San Miguel get those offensive rebounds. It seems Marco. that Nelson is thinking his uh, whole game is predicated upon uh, getting the outside game going, Mona. That's right. So if he gets that first, it'll open up uh, certain drives or whatever he has going to the hole. He's really taking a lot of three-point shots. He's not too much success thus far. And talking about going to the hole, what a move from Kenneth Dorendis. The first thing he did, mga kaibigan, he was on the sapal, and Alaska now attacked by 12. Il Defonso, not double team. And they're taking too long, trying to set up that shot. Seconds. Two seconds to shoot. Mike's it. Win your controls. Lead pass. Here's the Rembrandt. All the way to the basket. Yes. San Miguel is not coming down on defense. This is the first time that Coach Jacobs reacted to Alaska's fast break play. Now it's a 14-point lead early here in the first quarter. Wow. In the finals, Alaska's outscored San Miguel 11 to 7. It's a fast break. I'm going to take field goal shooting. A miserable 2 out of 12 for San Miguel here. Alaska is 67% from the field, 10 out of 15. San Miguel is 16% from the field. Asai Tono, Pinompa, wala na naman, Berendes gets the rebound. And here they come. Alaska has really stepped up the defense. They're not allowing a second shot whatsoever. At all, yes. Offensive rebounds are just not happening for uh, San Miguel right now. 12 seconds of the shot clock. Guinho inside, short stab. At the motion of foul. Abad Miguel said to say Tono. But it's been this man pumping up the Alaska team. What a move underneath Kenneth Dorendis. And Alaska now on top by 14, 22 to 8. Good to have you with us, Philippines. Nolly Yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Hao. Si Vince Season ng Gordon's Gin. Para sa game number six, the best of seven series para sa McDonald's PBA All-Filipino title. Right now, Alaska, ay labang ang labing apat na puntos na sa San Miguel Beer. We don't need two remaining in the first quarter. And you can see the, this obviously an Alaska fan here. San Miguel made some substitutions quickly after that uh, second timeout in this quarter. Three people substitution, three man substitution, Alan Kaitik. Uh, Art de la Cruz and Yoyo Filomin taking away Mosley, Abuda, and uh, Nelson Asaitono. He was uh, not really driven to the basket a lot. He's taken too many three point shots for their own helpful. Just Andy, as you noticed, uh, Alaska is the aggressor in this game. You really noticed, even on defense, they're really aggressive. You see how they're going at the players and really making sure that they have a tough time making two points. And if they do get the shot off, then they're going to get the rebound. This is the first chance that they have two offensive rebounds. Of course, they're going to long time. A current one on domination from the glass. Now San Miguel Beer to give them a, a two points, or now in the lead of Alaska down to 14, 24 to 10. But it's that their substitution. Oh, you bench again. Coming into play. Lastimos is a blind here. Offensive rebound from Hawkins. There's going to be a loose ball foul here. Called against Yoyo Villamin. Yoyo Villamin will pick up his first personal foul right now. We'll throw you. Uh, fourth side with Anthony Santai. Anthony? Well, you know, Nolly from day one, Coach Ron Jacobs kept telling me, he told his boys transition defense is very important against Alaska because they like going on the break, getting easy points. He was very displeased that last, that last time out. Sabi niya, guys, we're not doing what he talked about. From day one, we got to pick it up. Nolly? Well, picking it up is the name of the game because of finals. And Vince, you obviously know that you've got to step up your game. No lacking of intensity, no. Lack of focus yeah, especially when you're down, uh, as they are right now by 14 points. When you get into a certain like uh, groove where you're not doing very well, you have to deep, dig it deeper inside and uh, find that anemo, find that uh, that charge. Whatever you have to do, you have to find it just so you can uh, combat whatever is uh, you know, pulling you down, be it uh, fatigue or you're you know, mentally tired or whatever. Or, you just have to make sure that you have to give everything you can to, to make the championship and to the, make the win possible. In the meantime, see Bots Rino, and Kinti sa kanyang unang free throw. He's averaged close to eight points per ball game in this championship series. 
Nakuha niya yung pangalawa to add on to the last to lead. 25 to 10 ang ating score. A minute and 23 remaining in the first quarter. So with Melzer sitting down, I suddenly got us to look for other options and maybe a little bit more. Melzer oh. Arte Lacruz, he was suspended in the last game. In the last game, he was back in the third game. They're not going to call that foul. You, know, you have to make that. This is the throw. This is one guy who has really come out in this championship series. Daniel Defonso and Pagito de San Miguel Beer. Three second violation. It's good defense there. Yeah. 48.9 seconds remaining. Rocky Santos with the ball. seconds remaining. Rocky Santos checking in now. Para que, uh, Danny Abarientos. Your thoughts, Vincent Daniel Defonso. He has certainly come out. He's averaging close to 16 points in this championship series. Yeah, I've had the opportunity to play, to play against Danny. Uh, even when he was uh, in the amateur ranks. And, uh, I've seen his progress, and uh, you know, I'm definitely pleased with the way he's playing. And I hope that uh, he continues. He's definitely one of the superstars in this game. The Matalas here, Austin Rosella, throwing a foul. Laban que caught Suino as he was uh, slightly tripped there, unintentionally, of course. We've got 40 seconds left here in the first quarter. Both teams are in the penalty right now. What about if San Miguel goes for a quick shot, they can get the three for one here. Oh. If not, it's going to be a one and one. El Defonso, let's not see Alan Ketik on a pass up. 11 seconds on the middle shot clock. El Defonso got away momentarily, pero nandun yung tulong ni Kenneth Turemdes. Now you've got nine seconds on the shot clock. Duncan Sen coming into the ball game, replacing Austin Rosella. 25.6 left in the uh, first quarter of play. Look at San Miguel to go at Alan, to Alan K. Dick now. Six seconds to shoot. Nagawan si Alan K. Dick. Nagawa ni Lastimosa. Pass again. Nagawa muli ni Arte La Cruz. Tuloy-tuloy sa basket. Tunama sa backer. And Hot Sweeney with a rebound. And may lose ball foul. Like a tower. Glaban K. Lula. Both teams are in the penalty. Uh, Arte La Cruz had no idea how much time there was on the clock. He did not have to rush a very difficult layup there. You can see here, it's a three-on-one. Spread it out. You've got a lot of big men. You drop off to Daniel Delfonso. Pochwinho would have been in trouble. He had no idea of what time there was left on the clock. And so he went for a difficult uh, finger roll. Edward uh, All of them coming from the free-throw line. Closer to the nine titles of Norman Black, he has a total of seven. If he wins this conference, I will move him within one. And Norman Black is the second winningest coach here in the PBA. He and Norman are what you would say the most active coaches. All the other coaches come and go. A lot of time here. He is Repeto Alaska here in the first quarter. Lead is up to 16. Three seconds remaining. I think he has to put it up. He will not have enough time. And what a first quarter for the Alaska Milkmen fighting for the, for dear life. Here in game number six, they have zoomed to a 16-point lead after 12 minutes of action. Second quarter just underway. Lamang po ang Alaska ng labing anim na puntos as we begin the second period. Well, as I thought, has come back into the ball game replacing Ilvi Ponzo. You know, even though that's a 16 point lead, you've got to realize this is only the first quarter. Yes. And it has to be uh, Alaska continuing to pour it on if they want to be able to extend this in the seven. Meanwhile, another bad shot selection there by Nelson. As I thought, has only two points. Two points in this game. There is again the mismatch of uh, Santos. Inigot nila, libre ng bagya. Reyes, masyado malakas mula sa kato. Arte Lacruz missed the last game out because of the suspension. Pintangan na po na Camino sa Tarapas. Yes! Good for the shot. That's what you can give them. Not only his defense and rebound. 
but he's got a pretty decent perimeter shot and he can post up at Kenneth Verendez. And I'm sure the emotion is there. I'm sure he wants yeah. to bounce back from not being able to uh, play in the last game. So I, you want to help, sure, huh? Yeah, I'm sure he wants to give a, some positive impact to the team. In the meantime, this man has been given, given all the impact plays for us Alaska again. Clean, slashing drive for him. Yeah, how many times have we seen Kenneth uh, break down the team already, break down the defense of uh, San Miguel and drive the baseline and uh, make those little hook shots or those little uh, small uh, layups? Too many for comfort, Jason. Not a baseline defense, Andy, right now, San Miguel. Three points down. One out by Aaron Lassen. And careful with the ball and again. Giving it to Daniel Defonso. Oh, right right right. Yeah, Santos and there's Kenneth the Raptors. Getting another layup. Well, like I always said, that the way the series has been going, Nelson Aceiton is the most valuable player of the series for Kenneth the Raptors in the Panasco win. You know, this is again, Marcos uh, Papagila and Shades of game number three. As you see this offensive foul, Lama Kiyoyo is going to be Alan Kaydik, the game of his first foul. In the last place, I think Captain Marbell, all the way to the basket. <laughs> Captain Marbell, I, I like that name. In fact, I had the opportunity of going with uh, Kenneth to his hometown in uh, Catapato. Yes. And I introduced him as Captain Marbell. And we have a little <laughs> joke. He <laughs> probably is going to stick with it. <laughs> Good guy. Meanwhile, Johnny Barrientos is back into the ball game. 18 point lead right now for Alaska. Six seconds to shoot, Marasad Askamil. Three to shoot, Hawkins goes up. Yes. And it is now turning into a rout here in the first half. Hello! 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 Well, you know that Hello! as long as uh, Hello! 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 one come uh, calling the plays, nothing much is going to go here for San Miguel. You can see the shooting of Alaska is just fantastic. And in the case of legal defense, going to be charged against the Alaska team. The first call of that nature called against them. Yeah, Alaska is building quite a sizable lead, and uh, San Miguel is going to have definitely their work cut out for them if they don't uh, make something happen in the next uh, game. Would it be Vince that the adrenaline is pumping too much for the San Miguel team that they're, you know, they're already feeling it even before they play the game? No, it could be it's too much, it could be it's too little. Uh, they, they had a real big uh, game last time out, and uh, it could be a lot of things, but uh, definitely this is the professional league, and uh, you have to come ready to play every single night. And every single moment right now, Binalik na po si Olsen Grasela, and of course, Daniel Defonso is also back in the ball game. Eight minutes and 52 seconds left, second quarter of play. Well, that's what San Miguel wants to do at this point. Just keep on plugging, plugging. Play some better defense, though, because they cannot allow Alaska just to have easy layups, which is what's happening here in this ball game. What a move! Well, that, that was an easy layup. He just missed it. Lido Weber still a commanding 17 points. Supply of Irene Alan Kaidik, who has struggled all series long. And are you surprised with that, Vince, with the experience of Alan? Uh, actually, yes, I am. Uh, he's, a, he's one of my idols, as you all know. And uh, you know, he's one of the best shooters the PBA has ever seen. Uh, and I think that PBA will ever see. But uh, you know, him, him struggling is, is quite a surprise to me. He's only averaging three points in the ball game or in the series, and he's now lifted. Lamantala's Kenneth Durandis remains on the bench. Rodney Santos taking his spot as the starting lineup of Alaska is back on the floor. Hawkins. Hawkins. That was a mistake. Lastimosa na kawala. Offline. Rebound by Poch Wino. And there's going to be a loose ball foul. Laban to Poch Wino. We talked about Kenneth Durandes, Captain Marvel. Well, he has been one of the best here in game number six. Cutting into the lane. Going baseline and the reverse. He has certainly been flying here today. Captain Marvel on the run. And trying to lead Alaska here in game number six, a total of 10 points. Para kay Cap, or rather 12 points, para kay Kenneth Torrentes. Lamantala, sa plan, tira ni Mark Cruz. 
And you can see the shots ng San Miguel Doc. Parang not, walang rhythm, walang flat. Actually, yung parang kay Art was there. Pero masyado lang siyang gigil. He has a mismatch and he did not exploit it properly against uh, Rodney Santos. I think one factor that will play into uh, this game as well is the injury to uh, Mike Mostre. Mostre, yes. Uh, definitely, he's one of the guys that can break down the defense. In fact, he was uh, given two shots for uh, cutting down the Antonino device and the foul. He's one of those guys that can open up the, the game, open up the lane for uh, guys like Asset Bono and uh, Il Defondo. And when yeah. he cuts, Nelson usually gives him the ball back because he finishes off very well. Yeah, that's one factor. And also, he can check, uh, I think, uh, the remnants better than anybody that happens to have to go. Excellent point. The woman, 13 points on average to Mike Mosley. In this title series, he has really stepped up his game. Right now, matagal lang hindi kumagalaw ang ating score. It remains at 34-17, nearing the halfway mark in the second quarter. And Alaska doesn't mind. Yes. And Antonio is in Rosella. And Rosella cuts down the lead somewhat to 15, but it's still all Alaska here in the first half. Anong na minuto, dalawang po tatlong saglit po dito sa ating uh, second quarter of game number six. Nelson Asaitona has struggled all night long so far, only two points. At kaya naman po ang uh, Alaska na mamayagpag sa kasalukuyan with a 15-point lead. Although San Miguel has cut that down from a high of 20, Dr. J. We talk about Nelson when they have lost, his average is 14 points. When they have won, it's 30-something points. So he's obviously very tired from the last game. That was an overtime game. You know? Oh, yes. And he did not come out of the ball game in the second half. No. But we have a foul there called against Rasella. That'll be the second foul, or first foul. And that's what, that's what he has done so far here. Miserable one out of ten bits. If you were playing and shot that way, you'll be out of this game right now. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's the difference. The coach may have some confidence in you. He knows he's not going to go far without Nelson. So uh -huh. you just keep him there and keep him on shooting. You can't take him out now because uh, they, they would never be in this situation without him in the first place. Exactly. Exactly. Ron Jacobs even said that we would not be in the finals without Nelson. Nelson. I know Coach Jaworski has always told me, you know, sometimes he said, you keep Bins there, yeah, because he's a shooter. If, he, if I don't ask him to shoot, nothing's going to happen with Mikey. And a good block, Malaki Mike Mosley. Laman ke Kevin Ramos. Three-point shot. Voila. Rebound to Freddy Abuda. San Miguel trying to come back here and trying to regain their composure and their bearings. El Defonso, Laman ke Kevin Ramos. He has left San Miguel in scoring in this game number six. Asai Tona takes a three. In and out. Tapik ke Abuda. Yes. So Abuda getting a defensive rebound and an offensive rebound. And all of a sudden, the lead is down to 13. 5 minutes and 20 seconds left. Second quarter of play. Eddie Abuda, fifth year pro, mula sa Lawan, Summer. Cutting down the Alaska lead to 13. Here's Captain Marvel. Oh, big basket. That was a three-point shot at Triple B. Captain Marvel has averaged 37.5% in the three-point range here in the finals. Gets his 15 point. At balik sa labing ating mga bante ng Alaska Milk. Mil Defonso. Sinagupa ni El Astibosa. No foul. Turnover laban sa San Miguel. Abariancos. Looking downstairs. Ball fake. No. That's Almost got that one. Over the back foul on Astibosa there. That was a nice move there by Johnny. He just did not finish it. Yeah, he took off uh, really far out. He took out uh, two people with him and uh, barely missed it. Yeah. Here's that one. Whoop. Right there. In and out. Just a little too hard off the glass because he had to hang against a uh, defending Il Defonso. And that loose ball foul. Kita Pita Ritona, but Kitozo Lastimosa is showing a lot of fire in this ball game. We always forget that uh, Johnny is not exactly the tallest player in the world. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's going against guys that are you know, maybe five or uh, even ten inches taller than he is. Uh, he goes in there and he makes it spectacular play. He scores up. Ready, Abuda making that uh, possession possible for San Miguel Pierre, and there's going to be a pushing foul. Laban kay Kevin Ramas. No, gustong kunin yung Defonso yung low post laban sa kanya. Nelson cannot buy a basket. He cannot see the basket at all right now. It's like a golfer who has no feel at all of his spot. Pagdalan ni medyo 
he's just guessing. <laughs> he cannot see the line of his spot at all. Maybe you should ask him to open his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, he's also trying to keep them, you know, just stay there, stay there. If we're, if we're down by 10, we'll take that, you know. But they don't want to be down by 20 the way uh, Gordon's came against Alaska in the 16th last year. That's the muscle. Wow. It's just coming from all sides. You got Johnny, you got Dennis, you got everybody contributing. Uh, it's so hard to find an answer, you know, uh, at least for San Miguel, you know, they're really clamping down on uh, Nelson. It's proving, you know, it's, it's giving dividends for them right now. Alaska's average 46% in this series. Yeah. And there's going to be a foul about the Johnny Abariendos, and that's a big call. Abaklunean against the Flying A, and that is called by Henry Tatamonan. He got into the path of a moose Probably hit him with the butt. Let's take a look here. Here you can see that he gets over, you know. They've let a lot of uh, plays go, uh, which are harder than this. A lot of fouls or contacts. Not a good sign. Of course, Johnny has proven that he can keep away from those fouls. 39 to 23. Labing anim pong abante ng Alaska Milk. They have not looked back so far in this game. Mike Mustre, he's seeing it's a low kick out play. Putting the Magao. Kapuda gets inside. Oh, great move for Freddy Kapuda. I think Freddy really got surprised himself. Uh, he picked a couple guys out and he went straight to the hole. There was nobody <laughs> in front of him. And that was not his move. He likes to shoot the jumper off a return pass and that's it, or a follow up, but never really a snap to the basket. Turn around, the Hawkins will not rebound. Yosef Rosanna. Lead is down to 14. As I don't know, he will take a three. Good nine, but that's short. He's a one, one out of four the Johnny was last game. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, uh, watching San Miguel right now reminds me of sort of reminiscent of uh, my days in Ateneo when uh, we had basically Richard Tixon and myself. And that was it. Players. Not too many people really can contribute uh, the way we were doing. And uh, that's what's happening with San Miguel right now. They got uh, the and then they got uh, Asaitona. But right now, Asaitona just uh, isn't doing it. How you wish Johnny Alboriento was in that Ateneo team? That oh, would I wish <laughs> he was there too. All the Athenians. Ramadala, balik po sa labingan ito po sa ng Alaska. Three point shot, Mustre wala. Rebound to Daniel Defonso. Ipinalik ni Mustre. Pinopa, tira, Mike Zay. And it will be tapped off by Mike Mustre with a minute and 57 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And still Alaska by 16. Welcome back, Philippines. Well, I'm buying Puna Superstars. Tunay, Natahana no Superstars. Commissioner June Bernardino. Your boss. And Your boss, boss, Vince. Mr. Navarro. Mr. Navarro. Hello, sir. Looking good. <laughs> and of course, Executive Director Sunny Barrios. Mario Raimundo. Freddy Alasco. Freddy Alasco. And uh, Kat Chairman. Oh, oh no, sorry. That's Nyok Pontevedo. Yes. yes. One of the commissioners. Ng PSC. Samantala, itong tarong ito, tuloy pong aksyon at may... Offensive pass. Offensive pass. Wow, dapat uh, kay Kevin Ramos. Yeah, I think he leaned in a little bit on that uh, that pick he tried to give Joe last, but uh, maybe a little too much. The referee called it right away. Well, he's a white refrigerator right there. And if he gets in front of you, you know, you're going to move away. 12 cubic feet. A minute and 43 remaining. Labing ani po ang abante ng Alaska Milk. It's been a war here in game number six, and Alaska has been winning this one so far. Asaitono, he has struggled after converting his second shot. He has missed about eight consecutive now, and make that nine. Baseball pitch, Dorentes, na libre, umangat, wala. Well, Nelson has not even been close with his shots. It's not something like it's in and out, you know. It's not even close the way. And that's why he's lagging behind in offense. He himself is down in morale right now. As I told you, coming up from that 40 point performance in games 4 and 41 in game 5, something that has been somewhat of a record here in the final title series. And a good shot to Nabi Freddy Obuda, who parang unsung hero to si Freddy Obuda. Kung i humping natin sa NBA, palar Dennis Rod panatating. He likes to rebound, he yeah. likes to be around the basket. Well, he scores a little bit more than Dennis, that's something for sure. Although Dennis had 7 points and 14 rebounds yesterday. And of course, mas disente ang kanyang buhok. <laughs> Sabala yung tira ni uh, Kenneth Durante sa kanto. Lead is down somewhat to 14, but only 27 seconds remaining here. Well, you know, San Miguel has possession. Alaska is still one foul to give. 
Yes, well, Musre is hurt, and that's why he has no confidence. If he wasn't hurt, that would have been an easy shot off the glass. But he's hurt, and he sees uh, Huinho coming at him on our Cape Puro Slomo and a clean block right there. Pangatlong sapal na yan ni Coach Huinho, ang Alaska's average five shot clocks in this title series. You plenty of time on the shot clock. Six seconds to be exact. Naipit si Rasela. Pumira ng Alahoy. Rebound. Makukuha na naman ni Freddy Abuda. Only four seconds on the game clock. Jump shot. Wala. Dorantes gets the rebound. And he throws one more heave. And that will do it. It is the first half. An eventful first half here in game number six. Alaska trying to stay alive. And San Miguel, well, they will have a lot of things to talk about during the half. They're down here by 14, 41 to 27. Sam, Sammy, for Kabalik, Samanyo po si Dr. J at si Vince Season as they uh, talk about this first half. All right, nasa kalagit na parin po tayo ng game number six. Alaska on top here by 14, 41 to 27. Welcome to sa ating Adidas halftime report. Well, yam po ang ating mga leading scorers right now dito sa larong ito. At uh, kapuna po na, as we take a look at Dorendes and Nasimo sa leading the pack for Alaska. Il Defonso with 10 points, Asai Tono only with 2 points, Dr. J. And he's only 1 out of 13 from the field, majority of his shots being taken from the uh, three-point territory. Vince, obviously you've seen some things here in the first half that uh, indicate the kind of Alaska game. You see the numbers right now, yep. and the intensity is not reflected there, but these numbers, let's talk about it first. 3 out of 5 shooting for Alaska uh -huh. here early one, in the first half. One thing that's uh, glaring is uh, Sam Miguel shooting uh, 0 for 13 and Sam Miguel shooting 3 for 5. You know, you got 60% versus 0%. That's not very good by any standard. And then you uh, incorporate that with uh, the 28% that San Miguel is shooting overall. That's just not going to do it for them. If they're going to have a chance at this game, they're going to have to come back quick. And that's, uh, that's in the beginning of the second half. They're going to have to start out well. It's also evident in the way they're, uh, they're distributing the ball. You know, uh, Alaska has 11 assists as opposed to San Miguel's. So as you can see, there's more of a team effort where San Miguel is just throwing the ball up and hoping it goes in. Right now, it's just not. Doc Pangigigil, game number six, ang uh, San Miguel coming out of their locker room early in this ball game. Nauna sila sa Alaska, but obviously, ang Alaska mo kung nagpapakita na mas maraming uh, fire dito. Well, it's obvious that Alaska came out with a little bit more adrenaline. San Miguel, I think, was at a low. Maybe uh, they rejoiced too much after their overtime victory. And Nelson Asaitono started the poor shooting after making one of his field goals. And that has hurt them. They're very lucky that Idolfonso and Ildefonso and, uh, of course, uh, Abuda have been playing well and have been shooting pretty solidly. So they're just down by 14. Like Vin says, I feel that the start of the third quarter is going to say what dictate what kind of game is going to be played for us in the second half. All right, may mga nakala po kaming highlights ng first half. Alaska has not trailed in this ball game, and they certainly have been playing well. Their backs. To the wall, first half, Pochwino, three block shots in the first half. Of course, Captain Marvel and Jojo Lastimosa connecting also together as Aitono has struggled in this ball game. Well, yeah. go ahead, Beans. I give you, I give you the floor. <laughs> they came ready to play today. Alaska is really just doing some incredible things. You got, uh, you got like uh, Kenneth right there, really cutting baseline and getting those easy twinners. And you have everybody con contributing. That's the difference between. Alaska and San Miguel right now. Alaska definitely came ready to play. They said to themselves, if we don't win today, that's it. That's Step it for that. San Miguel kind of had the attitude, uh, you know, let's just try to win. It's more of than course, see, Austin Rosella tried to pick it up here in the second quarter. Si Asaitono really has been struggling, forcing his shots from the outside. Sabi nga ni Dr. J. Kanina, it's not, it has not even been close for the ball in this first half. Couple of players for Alaska exploding. Kenneth Durandes has been the biggest factor so far for Alaska Milton. Yeah, he's not only been scoring, he's also been assisting and he's leading the fast break. What happens is he's guarding Nelson Asaiton on defense and Nelson misses the shot. Nelson doesn't come down on defense, so Kenneth's already running on the wings, starting off the break for the team. And, you know, that's the problem that Ron Jacobs has got to solve here in the second half. Your prognosis, Vince, second uh, half. I know what. Does San Miguel have to do? What, what will Alaska continue to do here? Well, uh, Nelson has to keep his attitude of uh, he never shot, saw a three-point shot he didn't like. Uh, and hopefully <laughs> it, it will go in. And as they say, it's not over till the fat lady sings. And uh, if San Miguel starts off well, you know, that 15 or 14-point lead can get trimmed down real quick. Well, this is, a, this is shades of 1995. San Miguel does not want na muling mabangungot sila mga kaibigan. They're leading the series three times to two. But they're down here by 14 in the first half. And it's been a war like you've never seen before. 
Well, this is it. If San Miguel's going to do anything, it's got to start now, and it's got to start on defense. As they say, offense wins ball games, but defense wins championships. And uh, if you can't stop the other team, you're going to have a hard time winning. Especially when you're down, you know. That's right. The only way you can come back is to make some stops. Marapi kung inuulit yung 1995 series. Well, again, another parallelism. In 1995, ang San Miguel ang nasa ibabaw in game number 6 by 12 points. They led by as many as 15 in the first half. But they lost that ball game in this 1998 series. Again, it's the same 3-2 lead for San Miguel in the series. But it's Alaska this time on top by 14 at the half. Well, look at Nelson. Right now, he's taking a closer shot and he got a big break. But is that going to count? I don't think it's going to count because that ball on the way up hit the back, the other side. So, Did it hit the back or did it hit the top of the back? Row? Well, you know, that again is uh, discretionary. It really depends on what it hit. No? I think Ron Jacob, Jacob, Jacobs thinks it hit the top of the backboard. And came back, yeah. Pag inaalag ka nga, Dr. J at Vince, pasok na, nawawala pa. Correct. And he needed that basket to lift up his confidence a little bit. Easy two points underneath the basket for Bong Hawkins. Nelson can't buy a break today. Oh, yes, he, he certainly cannot. Six points in the game. Para kay Bong Hawkins, he has been outplayed in that power forward position. Laban kay Nelson Asaitono, but... In our conversation with Sean Chambers, Dr. J, sabi niya nga kay Bong Hawkins, huwag mo nang isipin yun. Samantala, si Mike Mostre gets inside for the first two points para sa San Miguel Beer. And again, you see Mike Mostre struggling a little bit with that uh, sprint wrist of his because he took off with the wrong foot and had to shoot it with the right hand, you know? Yes. 43-29 ang ating puntalaan na pati ng labing apat. Ang Alaska, libre si Johnny off a screen. He bought, he bought Chirino. And Amarientos finding the mark with nine points in the game. That's where Alaska is so deadly, those extra passes, nobody forcing the shot. They'd like to get the man with the real wide open look at the basket. Nabangkit nga natin, Aparienta struggled in game five with only three points, but he will come back in a big way today, and he has been ballistic so far in this ball game. Inside play, Ildefonso, Danny Ildefonso with his 12th point to lead all beer men in scoring. Danny's definitely come ready to play for this championship. You know, he's uh, the saving grace right now for San Miguel. If it weren't for him, they definitely wouldn't even be in contention. That's right. He's a gem of a rookie. Definitely. Number one draft pick this year. Nagahanap ng foul si Kenneth Doremdes. At hindi siya nakakuha. Samantala, may report tayo mula kay Mon Rebol tungkol sa Alaska Milk. Mon? Salamat, Dolly. Sustain, sustain, sustain. Yun lamang sinasabi ng mga taga-Alaska sa loob ng tag-out. At si Coach Tim Pong, masayang-masaya sa nilaro niya sa first uh, half. At gusto niya dalhin niya sa second half. Meron siyang dagdag na bala. Pabasok niya sa second half. Sabi sa mga bata niya, eto, hand-cups para kay Nelson Asaitono. Back to you, Dolly. Ba, medyo delikado yan pag nilagay mo yung hand-cups sa loob ng floor. Bawal yata yan. But certainly the point has been made. Nelson Asaitono has been checked in this game. Yeah, may process na. Wala pa yata susi. <laughs> Tinapo na sa Manila Bay. Yeah, that's, a good call. That, that's a good call. He took some steps, couldn't really. He didn't put down the ball on the floor before going for the layup. That's where Marlo is so good at him. Yeah, Marlo just turns around and puts it straight up. Yeah. Uh, he has the advantage of being a little bit taller, so uh, he doesn't really have to fake as much. The night is alive on vintage television. Ah, dito po ang um, title series para sa McDonald's PBA All Filipino Cup. Sa Mandala, supply and tira from the outside niya. Barrientos, it will remain, however, with Alaska Milk. And right now, we'll turn you over sa kabilang panic naman with Anthony Sunday and San Miguel Beer. Anthony? Well, no, only for Coach Ron Jacob, sabi niya sa mga bata niya, he likened this game to game number three, their game in Cebu. And he said, look, at that particular point, they shot very well and they were up by 18 points. Right now, they're only up by 14, so it's very manageable. Just relax. Follow our game plan, and we'll do okay. Nolly? We saw that game, Dr. J, at uh, nakabalik ang San Miguel doon. Yeah, they had, they, had, they had it down to three. Yes. Nelson cannot buy a basket. Wow. Maybe they should take him out. You cannot help but think about the burnout factor as I don't know hit two 40-point explosions. In the meantime, Kenneth Doremdes is exploding himself. At the same time, Nelson is almost always late coming back on defense, so he's not a factor helping against the transition offense of Alaska. 18-point lead back for Alaska. Biggest was the 20. Danny Ildefonso is the name to watch in uh, the years to come. He is uh, one of the future stars, definitely, for uh, the PBA. Minugot mula sa amateur ranks, the young boy. Oh, that's traveling. And Montuinia got away with that one. 
Now nobody wants the ball. <laughs> not even Nelson. There we go. And Olsen was really not happy with that last play because yeah. you're the point guard. You're supposed to be getting the ball, not inbounding it. <laughs> and that's always the uh, principle Niron Jacobs. 51-33, balik sa labing walo. As I don't know, sinulo, sinuso bang defensa. He finally gets his own miss in the putback. As I don't know, with his first field goal in the in his last 13 attempts. And one thing Nelson has not been able to do, he has not been able to go to the free throw line in this ball game, which is something you must do to help yourself. Yeah, those are free points. That's why they call them free throws. That's right. It raises your confidence too, is if you know you can go inside and get a few uh, fouls from the other team. And again, that extra pass, Dr. J. Avarientos, the recipient, getting the basket from the corner. Well, Alaska is doing one kind of a play, miss, exploiting on the strong side a mismatch, and then posting up Johnny on the other side for the jump shots. And you can see they're playing more as a team. They have averaged close to 20 assists in this series, about four more than San Miguel. It's really like clockwork for Alaska. You know, Tim Cohn preaches that, you know, we're in the practices for the RP team, and he says basically the whole triangle is predicated upon thinking pass first and then shoot next. Because if you break it down and you try to be a one-on-one -on -one selfish type player, uh, the team might win that game, but you're not going to win the championship, and that's what it's all about, team effort. Sean Chambers doing the jiggle and the wiggle. And why not? They're on top here by 20 points, 55 to 35. So they've come out smoking here in the third quarter and added on to that 14-point lead. The shot clock is down to four right now. But they reach in foul in the tower, Glavanke, Bong Hawkins. That's only the first foul of the Hawk. And the first team foul of Alaska with 6.07 remaining here in the third quarter. Well, if there will be a game seven, that will happen on Friday. Araneta Coliseum. And that should be a humdinger of a ball game, but this game is far from over. Rasela inside. Wala. Tumama bola, tumalpok. Napulog pa rin ng Alaska. It would be a humdinger depending on what San Miguel can do in this ball game because uh, if they're going to get blown out, you know, it's going to take a lot of uh, talking to get that morale back into the team. Uh -huh. Abarientos beats the Rosella to the basket, and this is the biggest lead of Alaska, 22 points. You know, this is Leo Martinez right on your streets, Major Natatakpan. You know, this is Alaska's day. Uh, everything seems to be falling into the right place for them. All the baskets seem to be going in. They're getting the proper breaks. Oh, you and, better believe uh, it. <laughs> San Miguel is just having to work. It seems ten times as hard to get uh, to where they want to go. So. It's definitely Alaska's day. And it indeed is. They're on top by 22. We'll be back. Fifty-seven thirty-five, five eighteen remaining. This is our third quarter. Ang Alaska dalawang put dalawa ang abante. At ang San Miguel Vier, nagahanap ng putos. Asay Tono, alahoy na naman natira. Rebound, nakuha ni uh, Art de la Cruz. Who came in for Freddy Abuda. Alan Kaitik came in for Mike Musre. 14 seconds, a shot clock ng Beerman. Asay Tono will take another one. Still not there. Okay. Alan was wide open on the other side, asking Nelson, give me the pass. You have not been making the shot. Give me an opportunity. And Nelson still took it. And you know, if there's anything lacking or needing in the San Miguel game right now, I know I'm a little biased, but it's from the two position, which uh, Alan Kaidik and uh, Mike Mooster both play. And uh, right now, they're not getting quite the contribution they would want from those two. Right now, it's basically that Hilda Fonzo and uh, you know, Asai Tono trying, but he's not getting it done. He's not getting open enough because uh, the two guards aren't contributing like they should. Well, right now, you know, the way they're going, Vince, I would not be surprised if Pasay Tono does not play in the fourth quarter. If Jacob sees that this ball game is going to be out of hand, yeah. he's just going to wait for the next game. You know, they have that one game luxury. Yes. It is. Ooh. Wow. Baksak si Kaidik, walang foul. Il Defonso na si Loob. Pumik, wala pa rin foul. Nabitawad pa ni Pasay Tono and Hawkins almost sitting on the ball. He's already outside. And lalabas siya with 4-0-1 remaining. It is a third quarter, only second remaining. Sa shot clock ng San Miguel. And Ron Jacobs... His work cut out for him today. A second, a shot clock. At naagaw, ang inbound. 
And here's the Remdes. Lastimosa, Pinarico to Remdes, and he loses the handle. Uy. Yes, last touch of Kenneth to Remdes. One of the few turnovers. Uy, sa ating bayan ng superstars, isa sa mga superstars ng world of politics, Governor Oscar Orbos with his son, Mark, taking time out from his hectic campaign. Wala pa schedule. na isang anak. Wala si Luke. <laughs> oh. yeah, I know him well. I know the youngest son. Yeah. Of course, ang pinagmamalaki ng pangkasina niyan, si Governor Orbos. Kasama na rin ni Daniel Defonso. Nakakatakot yun. Talaga, kinarap ka sa likod ni Defonso and Doremdes picking up the foul. Almost a dangerous ball. There. Yes. You know, that's one of the scariest positions you can ever find yourself in basketball. You're up in the air, you're turned upside down, and there's nothing to, you know, to brace your fall. Oh, you're well. going to land on your back if, uh, who is that, yeah, Wino? If Wino didn't catch him, he would have been in trouble. That would have been a lot of pain. <laughs> you know, they say that literally San Miguel is riding the back of the ball, but this time, it's the Remdes riding the back of the Defonso. <laughs> Defonso. And I'll take this break, Vince, to ask you, you can, you've been away. And certainly a lot of fans are asking, what, are you, what have you been doing so far here in your uh, summer vacation, Vincent? Well, me, I've been uh, quite busy. Uh, I, I think I'm in the most interesting of uh, positions in the entire country right now. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, my best friend and my girlfriend both have parents going for the Senate, you know, uh, Robert Jaworski and Lauren Nagarda. So we're all doing our best to help them uh, both out. You know, Coach, uh, we've been going around doing some campaigning for him. The whole team has. And aside from that, I've been trying to do a little bit for Lauren Nagarda. So I've been really busy with campaigning. Kaya naman kami natutuwa at nakasama ka namin ngayon, Vince. Taking time out, ha? Oo. Samantala, 22-point lead pa rin po para sa Alaska at may foul na ibinigay si Alan kay Dick. The campaigns are good for tans. It's the next best thing, it's the next best thing to going to the beach. Well, I can, I can believe that. I can see your tan, my friend. I needed one, definitely. Makes you look a little more uh, dashing, and uh, that's why all the fans here are going wild during the break. Oh, please. 59-37 <laughs> before we get carried away here. It's still a 22-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Cross-court pass. Hawkins. Try to use the pick. Yeah. Pochwinas played well here today. Pumasok sa loob. Medyo naipit. Fall away. Naagaw. Oh! And there's going to be an illegal, no, a foul. Lang itatawag ni referee Oji Bernate to go against Art De La Cruz. And that'll be number one on De La Cruz. Allen wishes that wasn't called because he had an easy uh, layup on the other end. Because he threw the ball after uh, they called the foul. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Muli po, nagkagala kami makasama kayo, Pilipinas. Noli Iyala po, kasama si Dr. J. Andy Howe and Vince Hizon. Game number six of the finals. Only three minutes remaining here in the third quarter. A 22-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. At sila mag inbound Still another opportunity to pad that lead. Ang Kinsen is in the ball game now. Pinota niya si Olsen Racela. He's up against Abarientos. Libre ng bagya, si Hawkins, sumipat, tumira, wala. Rebound ni Kaidik. Alan's been doing some job on that, ball, on that end, at least. Asay Tono, libre si Kaidik on the other side. No pass. Finally gets the pass. Three-point shot. Bang! He's been asking for that. He's been asking for that pass. That's what he's known for. That's what he's out for. He's, uh, he's not out there to really play defense. He's out there to shoot the three-point shot. That's right. And you know, if he gets a little confident that she had that illegal defense called against San Miguel, you know, Alan might be thinking of the next game. Ah, he's going to get the, some playing time defense. That may legal defense, Laban to San Miguel. Here's that play again. And Karina pa naghahanap. Finally, nakita ni Tang Kinsen. And the trigger man pulls the trigger. And it's swap na swap. <laughs> that was very good ball distribution by San Miguel Diaz. The ball did not stay in the hands of Nelson that long. They, they forced him to give it up. Lastimosa, inigot nila. Abarientos gets inside, inilabas. Again, they look for that open man. Lastimosa takes the jumper. Wala. Rebound. Tapu pull up to Kenneth Torrentes. That's Sees awesome. the opening. Goes up. Wala. Half goes to Tonkinson. And here comes the Beerman. And Allen setting up for another three-point shot. Inside play! Oh. Offline. That's good defense to Bayanasa. 
they recognize Alan setting up and force him to give up the ball. They're covering the passing lanes very well. This is a third quarter. Uh, this entire game, actually. Here by San Miguel, if they can get something going here, they only have a minute and 38 left here in the uh, third quarter. But San Miguel is going to make a comeback in this game. It has to start right now. Uh, Alaska's not getting the shots down like they were earlier, and uh, this is their chance. If they can uh, convert a few shots, uh, they can definitely get within reach. This is a foul in the act of shooting. That's a technical foul for the Bob Hawkins who complained about that foul. This may be the opportunity for Ron Jacobs to give Nelson Aceitono some of the range that he has lost in this game. Ito yung foul, and now there's the foul. May kasamang pagreklamo ng bahagya. Tinawagan siya ng technical. Kai Dick will take technical free throw. And you want Alan to do that because you don't have Rosella on the floor right now. Mid season does it for Gordons, by the way, who's going back to Ginebra the, in the second conference, right? We're going to be Ginebra. Gonna after, be, uh, is JB coming back? Um, that's still kind of up in the air. Uh, I don't know exactly what's the story with all of that, but uh, hopefully, you know, we love JB and we hope he can come back soon. And now we'll have Nelson taking the two free throws as San Miguel has cut the lead down to 18. We're only a minute and 25 left in the third quarter. Well, Hindi mapigilan ng the ball and uh, he has certainly been the top player in this whole Filipino conference. As we take a look at the San Miguel Pier fans, they came in droves today. But obviously hoping for a championship ngayong araw na to. But you also always have the spoilers and uh, that's what Alaska would like to be. A spoiler, not the gate crasher. If you're a gate crasher, means the party will go on. <laughs> you want to be a spoiler, no party. No party. You eat on your own, guys. And the balloons, hopefully, they're hoping that those balloons will not drop today. Wong Hawkins, as the chant of defense comes alive, into Zabaneta Aspido. Nine seconds of shot clock, Lastimosa. Six seconds to shoot, cross court uh -oh. pass. Three, bailout shot. Voila, it goes uh -oh. over the backboard. That one was definitely over the backboard. No question about it. They're feeling a rally here. He's coming with very, very short time left in the third quarter, but San Miguel's trying to make something happen. Like he said, being asked by Nelson, hey, push it up. We don't have all day. <laughs> that much time. This is the third quarter. Loving Anit Wong in a hapo lang San Miguel. Alan kay Dick. Nakita si Tang Kinsen. Three-point shot. Wala. Offensive rebound. And for Kyle Kyle and it's a 10 to nothing run for us San Miguel. And they're down by 14, 59, 45. So we're back where we are at the, at the start of the third quarter. Alaska had put it to 24. And the chat gets louder. Lastimosa, Sapo to the goal, but they fall. It's a tower of Lava Kiara Pela Cruz. That'll mean free throw shots for Jojo. You know, it's always been a general rule of uh, Gordon's that uh, when we're down by a sizable advantage like uh, like uh, San Miguel is down right now, we have to get back uh, within reach. Usually we try to shoot before uh, the beginning of the fourth quarter, around 10 points. Like, let's just say we're down by 25 at halftime. We want to be down by a split of about 10 or 12 points by the end of the third quarter. So when we start the fourth, you know, we can really get back a lot quicker. Nakita niyo yung back-to-back plays ni Il Defonso at ni Lastimosa, Austin Casella taking his time, resting and hoping to be in uh, full charge come the fourth quarter. And Jojo is going to... Galit kay Paring Sani. Barrios. Yes, yes. Galit kay Sani Barrios. Of course, Amin na rin dito sa Vintage. Well, if you pay mo kami, salamat. Okay, salamat din. Anyway, Alaska's got one more foul to give before they get into the penalty. They can use that, except for Johnny. Only that much time remaining here. 16 point lead for Alaska. I think it's inside now. Go on. Ron Bennett to rim this. He has enough time and he gets Alaska. And Alaska momentarily relinquishing a little of the points but coming back strong in the final seconds of the third quarter and they've upped their lead once again. Labing walong puntos ang ahabulin ng San Miguel come the fourth quarter. Game number six, they're down by 18 points. They got it to within 14, Dr. J. Pero biglang bumulusok na naman ng Alaska. Well, they got two free throws from Lastimosa and then an error on the part of Kai Dick, who was trying to go for the last shot. No? And obviously, alam mo, he could have gone for it earlier, given them some chance for a rebound play. And they had, they, you know, you can always rely on defense if you did not make the shot because they had fouls to give anyway. Scoring by quarters. 
hindi pa nakaka-break ng 20-point barrier itong San Miguel. Matala, bahagyan na nakaproblema ang San Miguel bringing down that ball. Alan Kaidik gives it to Tankinsen. He will not take the shot. His pass picked by Johnny Abariantos and an easy layup for Abariantos. Lead is up to 20 points here. Uh, I'm nothing against Tankinsen, but I don't know how he's going to be able to play in this kind of series, you know, not playing during the uh, elimination and semifinal round, practically. Pati mga pasa niya, medyo, medyo mahina, uh, yeah, you know? I mean, the guy is feeling the pressure, you know. Nakakuha ng konting buwang at may foul na itatawag. Si referee Tangonan, this will go against, uh, let's see, Wong Hawkins. LOE number three on the Hawk, and Olsen Rosella still preparing to check in here. They might not come in anymore if they, if they if this lead stays here. Things at this point are looking sort of dim for San Miguel. If you notice they're there was a they're, shot. They're sort of rushing things. In yeah. A sense, uh, and, and they're turning the ball over to the point where they're trying to get their offense going, but they're not succeeding. And at the same time, Alaska's getting the steals and getting his easy layups. Nothing falling for the beer men. Lastimosa goes baseline, uses the left wow. hand. That's a Vince Eason move. There I've could have been that. a foul there, too, for yep. Joe Les. Vince will go the reverse. <laughs> he doesn't like the easy shot. He'll go reverse. Guarantee. If I were guarding Vince, I'd never guard him straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to learn that because yeah. I can't jump that high. 67-45, mga kaibigan. 22-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. They're toying around now with the beer men. Only a second on the shot clock. Tumira sa Saitono. Wala. Oops. Rebound makukuha niya Marientos. Foot race. Behind the back, two times, almost got away there. Uh, Johnny's just trying to play with Tankin Sen in the ice game for the isolation right now. And he goes baseline. Inside pass, Dorembes. Pinaglalaroan na lamang, and Hawkins gets the oh, basket. Yeah. Obviously, a very, very determined Alaska team that wants to bring this to Game 7 on Friday. And and de demoralized something. I was going to say the same thing, demoralized. Dalawa po tapat na puntos na po ang abante ng Alaska Milk. And again, they need to win para mapunta sa do or die. Game yeah. number seven and another steal, another turnover. Dorembes gets the opening wow. and a slam dunk! And San Miguel has not called a timeout. Try to stop this momentum at all. He's just letting them get away with it. And what a pass by Joe Lastimosa. Look away pa. That's right. John Chambers. <laughs> Usual. Well, Either a player or a G leader. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi niya sa akin, kinausap daw niya yung kanya mga kakampi. Last, uh, yesterday, and of course, when he arrived last Sunday, and he said, this, this is, alam, we've been here, and we know how this feels, and right now, it seems like all that pep talk has worked para sa Alaska Milkmen. They're on top by 26 points, nine minutes remaining in the ballgame. This definitely is one of the uh, poorest games that we've seen so far in the series. No? I think San Miguel really looks a bit tired. I think that uh, yeah. last game they had really took something out of them, especially, uh, quite obviously, uh, Nelson Asuetono, who hasn't been able to put up the numbers. At you know, all. He had 40 points last game, and uh, he's not quite close to that this game. Cafe Puro Slomo, Kenneth Doremdis, slamming one home. And he has really pumped up a, lo a lot of adrenaline in this Alaska game. In the meantime, may report tayo mula kay Anthony Suntay to Kulki Olsen Rosella. Anthony, what's up? Well, Nolly, a while ago in the first half, he stretched that hamstring. Uh, they, were working with, they were working with him at the half. Ang sabi naman sa akin, wala naman problema. He can play, but then I guess, since they're down by this big a margin, I don't think we'll see him back. Nolly? Well, you can see that Nelson himself is not going to come back after this. He's been taken out of the ball game. Nine minutes and two seconds left. You got Yoyo Villamin and Joey Santa Maria playing there. So, you know, they've given up on this game. San Miguel has given up. They just look at Friday. Asoitono scored only six points in today's ball game. Pagkatapos nakakuha siya ng uh, dalawang halos 40 puntos in the last four, in 40 point, five points in the last two games. In fairness to Nelson, though, uh, they rely so much on him. And uh, really, uh, two days to prepare for the next game like they had, you know, Sunday going into today's, tonight's game. It's really difficult, you know. Maybe if they have an extra day, so three ga three days until uh, Friday, he'll be uh, well rested and ready for that game seven. Then at the rim, this nagpapatulo yung kanyang uh, scoring bench here, 73 to 48. Dalawang put limang punto sa kabante ng Alaska Milk. Kaidik getting inside. Sapal na bahagya pero may pala na tinawag. 
Laban kay Kevin Ramas. Now you can see right now that even though they're behind, Alan knows what he wants to do. He's playing so much harder now. He loves to be the focal point of the offense. With Nelson, you just have to take a backseat. Everybody takes a backseat. And right now, you know, Alan's asking for the ball. He's aggressive. He's been season right now. <laughs> Well, uh, Allen is actually a team player, too. Uh, he, he knows that Nelson has brought him this far, and he isn't quite uh, in the shape that he wishes he was uh, or would be. Maybe a few years ago he could have done that, but uh, some injuries have hobbled him somewhat. But uh, right now he knows his role is to back up Nelson, and he's uh, doing his best to do that job. The battle cry of Alaska was stop the ball, and he certainly, certainly did today. And right now this is a 24-point lead on the Alaska Milk. Walong minuto po na nalabi sa ating final quarter. Rodney Santos gets a screen from Ramas. In and out. Under eight minutes to play here. Tangkitsin, nagahanap na papasahan. Trying to set up the play. Santa Maria goes inside and he'll draw a foul. Nakasapito na naman si Pochwinyo. He's always been around the basket. Kaya naman talagang bumbuksara. Ato rin ang katawan nito si Pochwinyo. In this title series, take a look at this play in our slow mo. He is a tough defensive player. And well, <laughs> By the way, as we hear this buzzer, let's see. Oh, time out! Thank you, mga kaibigan. We'll be back with 7:47 remaining here in the final quarter. Welcome back, Philippines. 7.47 remaining. Dito po sa ating basketball game. Kung hindi po yung na makasama kayo dito sa game number 6. Noli Yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Howe at si Vince Season ng Gordon's Gin. Right now, ang Alaska in command of this ball game, 73 to 49. And uh, unless there's a miracle that happens here, although marami pang oras ito, the way Alaska has been playing, Dr. J, we're looking at the game 7 on Friday here. Yeah, we are looking. There'll be no more miracles in this ball game. <laughs> yung no, mga miracle no workers are all no in the more, No more, no more, no more. <laughs> and you can see that even Edward Narod, who has not seen action at all in the championship series, is fielded to replace Danny Ildefonso. And you have him playing in the backcourt together with Takin Sen. So these are all the reserve players right now except for Alan Kaide. Samantala, si Roel Gomez naman ay pumasok na para kay Coach Tim Cohn. But in case the need arises in the Game 7, say somebody gets injured or something yeah. happens, uh, it's good to give them a little experience, you know. They get seven minutes of uh, quality basketball in a championship game with all the pressure on the line. So this is good experience for guys especially like uh, Naron and Tan Kin Sen and uh, guys who don't get quite the playing time as the starters do. You know, an interesting trivia dito, mga kaibigan. The last five times, a best-of-seven PBA Finals went into a two-all deadlock after the first four games. Lumpong bawat sering ngayon, went to the maximum seven game distance and in four of those five series the team that won game five eventually won the title except for one and that was the 1995 governor's cup meeting ng alaska at ng san miguel beer so there's so much history riding on this title series Vincent. obviously you know that game six seven will have a lot and the writers will have a heyday writing about that game seven yeah, it's going to be a washbuckler, to say the least. It's going to be incredible. And uh, if you're a fan of uh, Alaska or uh, San Miguel or even the PBA, you got to watch that one. That's going to be a lot of fun. Well, these are the players that are going to rest it out for today. you got to look for the next game. It will said a very decent ball game. Nelson, obviously, a very poor game, almost comparable to what Johnny did the other night. That's right. So Johnny came out a little bit, maybe 100% better than the way he played the other game. Il Defonso nagtapos rin ng uh, may labing walong punto sa matara si Roel Gomez who has been shooting well from the three-point range patuloy pang nagdadagdag ng kalamangan para sa Alaska Mill. You know, Roel's a really nice guy and I've always asked him how come Tim, Tim doesn't play you a little more? Uh, every time you go in, the first thing you do is shoot a three-point shot. And he, he's one guy you can never count out, uh, especially when he's in the game. Uh, just look out for him to shoot a three-point shot, definitely. He had the opportunity to win the game for Alaska in Game 5, but he missed that shot. Meanwhile, this guy's just been taking everybody to school. Yes. Talaga namang pinuturuan ni Kenneth Duremdes ng leksyon ng lahat ng bumantay sa kanya. Dalawang puntak lumpunto si Duremdes ngayong araw na to. Alan Kedik still cannot find the range. 
things are definitely looking good if you're an Alaska milkman. Well, again, shades of 95, and we don't know what the future holds, but certainly Coach Tim Cohn will take this one, and they will bring it to game number seven. Samantana C. Edward Wino has really played well. Nelson Asaitono, what has he done today? Not much. Again, so it's two out of 14, one out from the field. None against Wino, none against Corrente, none against Lastimosa. Look at him, he's looking uh, at the score. You big time at him, Dr. Dre, the Indian Indian production. It's okay, he says. Okay, lang yan, sabi niya. Sakit niyo yung likod ko in game seven. Maybe that's the message he's sending. Well, San Miguel wrote it in game four and five. They did not get it this today. But there's going to be another day. Of course, Alaska hoping that that day will be theirs in game number seven. And Dorantes is now given a rest. We are seeing Jude Reyes. When well, you're talking about Sakyan, nothing. If he's Michael Jordan, maybe, you know? <laughs> well, well, he played a Jordan-like game. If Jordan important. promises you, I'm going to win a game for you, you know he's going to win a game for you. The Dorantes, pinigpinigan ng pahingan ng kumunan ng Alaska after scoring 23 points, 11 boards para kay Kenneth Dorantes in a complete all-around ball game para kay Dorantes. Samantala, may pito tayo. What gives here? Oh, that was funny. The referee here called the foul. <laughs> he was nullified because he was went over the board. But the foul came. <laughs> There's going to be another whistle. Samantala may counting action sa likod ng San Miguel basket right now. That has caught the attention of the uh, thousands of fans that drew to the Boneta Astro. But right now, it's this 26-point lead that has caught the attention of many as Alaska calls its timeout with 4.57 remaining. Dito sa Alaska Milk. 81-54. This is a one game para sa Alaska. They tie up the series here. Still a lot of time though. 449 in the fourth quarter. Kapitawang pa yung bola. Talaga naman pag inaalat, inaalat. Ano tinitingnan natin dito, Doc? From game 7. Anong mga well, napuna mo dito? Now, of course, uh, you know, it started because of Nelson's poor shooting. But uh, Alaska did something a bit more. I think they took the ball out of Nelson's hands, forced the other players to beat them. They, they were not able to do so. And eventually, they still go back to Nelson, do the same thing, half-court game. Alaska, I think, also ran a little bit more. That's why they got a lot more points on fast break, although it was only six in the first half. So they, they did some things more than the usual. Vince, you know, I, I talked to you, I asked you this question off the air. I said, if you, you've been, uh, have you been in a Game 7 situation? And obviously, you have not, but how does a real player prepare for such a big game? You know, it's it's nobody. It's it's the end all and be all of your conference. Yeah, well, each uh, conference is really a, a dream, and to get to the top of uh, this pinnacle, you have to win every game along the way. And there's certain steps, like uh, we had a knockout game a few years ago versus uh, or a few conferences ago versus San Miguel, and it was do or die. If you want to win the championship, you have to get to the championship series. So, of course, you have to win those games. So we've been in those types of games, and uh, it's just you have to lay everything out. It's, it's, it's the biggest game of your entire career for a lot of these guys. And, uh, Psychologically, how does a game like this, a blowout, affect the winner and the loser as a player? Well, it's got to put you a little bit uh, in bad spirits if uh, you know, like you're San Miguel right now, and uh, maybe a little bit higher if you're Alaska because of the, the margin of victory that we're seeing here. It's just 30 plus points. Uh, Know, but uh, you know, it, it really doesn't matter what's happened before. It really doesn't matter, you know, what's what's transpired. All that really matters is Friday, 7:30 uh, at the Arnetta, uh, uh, at the Arnetta, Arnetta. Yes, that's right. Arnetta. Arnetta. I can say that. Arnetta. Arnetta. Yeah. Say that. Might be 6:30, 7 o'clock. We'll see you there. Seven, <laughs> Whatever time it is. Samantala, 87:59, and. Uh, Alaska having fun here. Samantara, si Joey Santa Maria, sa Plantira, and Coach Nino has been a tremendous player para ni Coach Tim Bonandic. Right now, it's what we call uh, scrap time. Uh, you talk about the future. Really not much to talk about this game. And there's another whistle here. 
have a reflection on the baseline. Edward Naron with a foul. That's his second personal foul. Alaska in the penalty. The low one foul. We can be guided on San Miguel. And Kayon, the Aldevid will taste. Uh, part of game number six as Edward Wino is given a rest and what a ball game he has played today. A total of 10 points, 10 boards, 3 block shots para sa centro ng Alaska Milk. Well, you can say that the starters are going to be well rested from game seven because they're not playing this game anymore. Uh -huh. And they're not really pushing themselves here in the fourth quarter at all. That's a good place, of course. He'll try to get whatever he can uh, scrap for here he in is. this ball game. He has the experience against uh, Tang Kin Sen using that to the hill. You know, in fairness to uh, Tonkinson, I think he was brought in initially because uh, Steve John got hurt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you want to match up a speedy guy. Yeah, Johnny was really uh, having a heyday as far as uh, his offense was concerned. And, uh, maybe he wanted somebody with a little bit more speed knowing that Olsen was uh, kind of hampered by that hamstring injury. Two minutes and 17 seconds remaining. Bago natin tapusin itong parusa sa San Miguel at uh, pasimula na ang uh, pagpaparty ng Alaska Milk. Of course, they cannot party too much. There's still a game seven to play. And they certainly would not party with their fans. You know, it's about <laughs> themselves yet. Until the time comes, if they can do it right now, right on Friday. And the last two minutes probably my home. The largest selling luxury cigarette. It's a 32-point lead for the Alaska Milk. A blood of a game. Of course, walang uma, walang nagbubasa ng ganito mga yari dito sa game number six. But Alaska just outclassed San Miguel here today. And another turnaround in Rodney Santos. All those players, their confidence level up. Gary Valenciano. We will see him for sure in game seven. Unless may coach here, don't have a match here. Ay, yun nga lang. Yun lang makakabigil sa kanya. Ito. Uh-oh. Rodney Santos. Uh-oh. 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 Nagpakita pa. Para kay ikaw ko na, Beach. He says he can't. He can't get up, but he can dunk. Obviously. Dunking donuts lang. I can't dunk the ball anymore. I'll just dunk the donuts in my coffee. It's a 36-point blowout. It might be 40 before the game is through. Here's Gomez. Yes. That's a guy who cannot dunk. <laughs> but you can shoot the three-point shot. That's my man right there. Well, alam mo si Rovel Gomez is the only one of batch 1991 remaining in the milkman na nakuha nila sa draft. Nawala na yung si Napato, Nancy Garcia, Peter Aguilar, Alex Araneta, and of course Eugene Gilvan. It's only Gomez. Eight years in the PBA and he certainly earned his first here as he come down to the last 43 seconds of game number six. Kanina na ang isa ko na sa mistake ng babahan ng beer. You know, obviously, Pumahama, hindi dahil nagsiselebrate sila. No? <laughs> they're, they're crowning their woes. But, like I said, baliwulay. You can lose by one, you can lose by 40. It doesn't mean a thing. It's a W that counts. Huh? Oh, 40 na, Doc. Oh, 40, 40. Yun ang sinasabi mo kanina. And Alaska may get over the 100 mark because San Miguel is no longer playing defense. Neither team has gone over the 100 mark in this series. There's Naron inside. Wala pa rin. Let's see. Nakuha pa rin si Naron. Isa pa nga. Hindi pa talaga makakuha ng power oh. pa eh. Finally, 18.8 seconds remaining. We gotta shoot this if we want to go over the 100. No, he's not. Pagpipigilin natin sa 99. 99, 61. 99. Nice number, nice round number ba? Tumira pa. At dyan pa nagwawakas itong game number 6. Fred Oitengsu is all smiles. And why not? They extend this another day. Ron Jacobs will meet Tim Cohn once again in game number seven and that should be one hell of a ball game and obviously coach Tim Cohn keeping his chances alive for an eighth title in the Philippine Basketball Association you know I think final score as Alaska ties the series 3-3 99-61